Tehillim for the 27th day of the Hebrew month, chapters 120 to 134, Psalms and Tehillim. Chapter 120, this psalm rebukes slanderers describing how deadly, how the deadly effect of slander reaches even further than weapons. A Song of Ascents. I have called out to the Lord in my distress, and he answered me. O Lord, rescue my soul from the lips of falsehood, from a deceitful tongue. What can he give you, and what further restraint can he add to you, O deceitful tongue? You resemble the sharp arrows of a mighty one, and the coals of broomwood. Woe unto me that I sojourned among Meshech, that I dwelt beside the tents of Kedar. Too long has my soul dwelt among those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Chapter 121. <clears throat> This psalm alludes to the lower paradise from which one ascends to the higher paradise. It also speaks of how God watches over us. A song of ascents. I lift my eyes to the mountains. From, from where will my help come? My help will come from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot falter, your guardian does not slumber. Indeed, the guardian of Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is your protective shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will guard your soul. The Lord will guard your going and your coming from now and for all time. Chapter 122. This psalmist sings the praises of Yerushalayim and tells of the miracles that happened there. A Song of Ascents. By David, I rejoiced when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet were standing within your gates, O Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim, that is built like a city in which all Israel is united. For there, are, for there the tribes went up, the tribes of God, as enjoined upon Israel to offer praise to the name of the Lord. For there stood the seats of justice, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you have peace. May there be peace within your walls, serenity within your mansions. For the sake of my brethren and friends, I ask that there be peace within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord, our God, I seek your well-being. Chapter 123. The, the psalmist laments the length of time we have already suffered in exile. A song of ascents. To you I have lifted my eyes, you who are, who are enthroned in heaven. Indeed, as the eyes of the servants are turned to the hand of their masters, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so are our eyes turned to the Lord our God until he will be gracious to us. Be gracious to us, O Lord. Be gracious to us, for we have been surfeited with humiliation our soul has been overfilled with the derision of the complacent, with the scorn of the arrogant. Chapter 124, A Song of Essence by David, Were it not for the Lord who was with us, let Israel declare. Were it not for the Lord who was with us when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive in their burning rage against us. Then the waters would have inundated us, the torrent would have swept over our soul. 
than the raging waters would have surged over our soul. Blessed is the Lord who did not permit us to be prey for their teeth. Our soul is like a bird which has escaped from the fowler's snare. The snare broke and we escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Chapter 125, A Song of Ascents, Those who trust in the Lord are as at Mount Sion, which never falters but abides forever. Mountains surround Yerushalayim, and the Lord surrounds his people from the time and forever. From this time and forever. For the rod of wickedness will never come to rest upon the lot of the righteous. Therefore, the righteous need not stretch their hand to iniquity. Be beneficent, O Lord, to the good and to those who are upright in their hearts. But for the, but as for those that turn their perverseness, who turn to their perverseness, may the Lord lead them with the wonders of iniquity. Peace be upon Israel. Chapter 126, the psalmist speaks of the future, comparing our divine service in exile to one who sows arid land, then cries and begs God to send rain upon it, so that the seed not be wasted. When the, he merits to reap the crop, he offers thanks to God, Hashem. A song of essence, when the Lord returned the exiles of Sion, we will have been like dreamers. Then our mouth will be filled with laughter and our tongue with songs of joy. Then we will th then we will say among the nations, the Lord has done great things for these. The Lord has done great things for us. We were joyful. Lord, return our exiles as streams to arid soil. Those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. He goes along weeping, carrying the bag of seed. He will surely return with songs of joy, carrying its sheaves, his sheaves. Chapter 127, King David instructs his generation, especially his son Solomon, to be sure that all of one's actions be for the sake of heaven. He also criticizes those who toil day and night in pursuit of a livelihood. A song of ascents for Solomon, if the Lord does not build a house, then its builders labor upon it in vain. If the Lord will not guard a city, the vigilance of its watchmen is in vain. It is vain. It is in vain for you who rise early, who sit up late, and who eat the bread of tension. For in fact, in fact, he gives his loved ones sleep. Behold, the heritage of the Lord is children. The fruit of the womb is a reward. As arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of youth. Fortunate is the man who has his quiver full of them. They will not find themselves shamed when they speak with enemies in public places. Chapter 128. This psalm extols one who enjoys the fruit of, fruits of his own labor, avoiding theft and deception, ever refusing gifts. It also describes behavior appropriate to the God-fearing. A song of essence. Fortune is, is every man who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. When you eat of the labor of your hands, you will be happy and you will have goodness. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine in the inner chambers of your house. Your children will be like olive saplings around your table. Behold, so will be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you out of Sion, and may you see the goodness of Yerushalayim all the days of your life, and may you see your children born to your children. Peace upon Israel. Chapter 129, this psalmist laments the troubles of Israel. A song of essence. Much have they persecuted me from my youth. 
Let Israel declare it now. Much have they persecuted me from my youth on, but they have not prevailed against me. The plowmen proved upon plow, the plowmen plowed upon my back. They wished to make their furrow long. But the Lord is just. He cut the cords of the lawless. They will be humiliated and will be turned back all the haters of Sion. They will be as grass upon the rooftops that withers before one plucks it. Wherewith the reaper has never filled his hand, nor the sheaf binder his arm, and of which the passers-by never have said, The blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Chapter 130, the psalmist prays for an end to his this long exile. A song of ascents, out of the depths I call to you, O Lord. My Lord, hearken to my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the sound of my pleas. God, if you were to preserve iniquities, my Lord, who could survive? But forgiveness is with you, that you may be held in awe. I hope in the Lord, my soul hopes, and I long for his word. My soul yearns for the Lord more than those awaiting the morning wait for the morning. Israel, put your hope in the Lord, for the Lord there is kindness. With him there is abounding deliverance, and he will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. Chapter 131, in this chapter, David declares that never in the course of his life was he haughty, nor did he pursue greatness or worldly pleasures. A Song of Ascents by David, O Lord, my heart was not proud, nor were my eyes haughty. I did not seek matters that were too great and too wondrous for me. Surely I put my soul at peace and soothed it like a weaned child with his mother. My soul was like a weaned child. Let Israel hope in the Lord from this time and forever. Chapter 132, David composed the psalm while he and the elders of Israel wore sackcloth in the morning over the plague that had descended upon the land and their being distant from the holy temple. David therefore offers intense prayers entreating God to remember the hardship and sacrifice he endured for the sake of the temple. A song of ascents, O Lord, remember unto David all his suffering. How he swore to the Lord and vowed to the mighty power of Yaakov. I will not enter into the tent of my house. I will not go up into the bed that is spread for me. I will not give sleep to my eyes, nor slumber to my eyelids, until I have found a place for the Lord, a resting place for the mighty power of Yaakov. Lo, we heard of it in Ephrath. We found it in the field of the forest. We will come to his resting places. We will prostrate ourselves at his footstools. Ascend, O Lord, to your nesting place, you and the ark of your might. May your priests clothe themselves in righteousness, and may your pious ones sing joyous songs. For the sake of David, your servant, turn not away from the face of your anointed. For the Lord has sworn to David a truth from which he never will, he, which he will never, God will never retreat from the fruit of your womb. Will I set for you upon the throne? If your sons will keep my covenant and the testimony of mine, which I will teach them, then their sons too will sit on the throne for you until the end of time. For the Lord has chosen Sion, he has desired it for his habitation. This is my resting place to the end of time, here while I dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her sustenance, I will satisfy her needy with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her pious ones will sing joyous songs. There I will cause David's power to flourish. There I have prepared a lamp for my anointed. His enemies will 
I clothed with shame, but upon him his crown will blossom. A Song of Ascents by David. Behold how good and how pleasant it is when brothers dwell together. Like the precious oil placed upon the head, flowing in abundance down to the beard, down the beard, the beard of Aaron, which rests upon his garments. Like the dew of Hermon, which comes down upon the mountains of Sion. For there the Lord has commanded blessing life in, unto eternity. Chapter 134. The psalmist exhorts the scholarly and pious to rise from their beds at night and go to the house of God. A song of ascents. Behold, bless the Lord, O you servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord in the, the, in the nights. Lift up your hands in holiness and bless the Lord. May the Lord who makes he heaven and earth bless you from Sion. This is the 27th of the Hebrew month. The Tehillim and Psalms, or Psalms in English. Please click like and please share my video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you for listening. Have a great day, an awesome day, an awesome month, an awesome year. And like Rabbi Kevin would say, have the best year ever, or excuse me, have the best day ever. But have the best year ever also. Thank you for listening. Oh, and please leave a comment if you like. Thank you.